Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I wanted to show you how to make a cute little library pocket for your library cards. And then this one happens to be in my new vintage sewing pattern book that is for back to school. So I thought it was appropriate and fun to have a library card pocket in my front cover page here. There are lots of ways that you can make these. There are several templates online that you can find that you can use to print out and cut and then fold. You can also cut it out with your Cricut or Silhouette and you can also buy them on Amazon or wherever school supply store or whatever. So I wanted to try and make one for myself because I wanted a red library card pocket. So I made one using the envelope punch board. If you do not have one of these, I will put a link down below for one. This is used for making envelopes, but you can also make other things like ribbit paper bows, boxes, and things like that, and also a library card pocket. So I have a piece of paper here and it is cut to four and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to first take my paper and fold it over, leaving about one inch, and you can use your board here to help you measure that out. Leave one inch on the end and go ahead and crease it. Now you're going to take, unfold it, line this up right in the middle there. So it's right in the middle of this where the punch is and go ahead and give that a punch. And then turn it around on the other side. And then punch that. So now you have that there. Now you need to score a half an inch on both sides of your paper. Now you, if you have the Martha Stewart scoring board or some kind of scoring board. You can do that. But what I'm going to use is my punch board and I'm just going to, where this point is here, where you punched it, you're going to line that up with the score line on your punch board. So I'm going to line that up here and I'm also going to line it up on this arrow here where it says score guide. So in both places, I'm going to line that up. And then I'm just going to take my scoring tool and score down. I'm going to do it on this side and then flip it over. And do it on this side. Now I'm going to flip it around and do it again on this side. Lining this up with the score line over here, line this up with that arrow, and then score it. Oops. Not in it there. There we go. Flip it over and do it on the other side. All right, so done with that for now. You're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut these two flaps off, the flaps that are on the bigger, longer end. And you wanna cut just inside where your score mark is. And you can use a paper trimmer if you have it, if not, just use scissors. Cut those two flaps off. And 
Now go ahead and fold the other two flaps around the back. Just like that, that's how it's going to be. And now I'm gonna open it up again and take this over to my punch board and line it up so it's in the middle. So there's the same amount of distance here as it is over here. And it looks like this edge is like a little bit past two and a quarter. So go ahead and punch that. That makes the little cutout on the pocket. Turn this punch board around and on your longer end you're going to corner around those. And there you have it. A cute little library pocket. It fits a 3x5 library card in there. And this is three and a half inches it ends up being. So super easy, quick little tutorial if you want to make your own library pockets and you don't want to print anything out, trace it, cut it, and things like that. It just makes a cute little easy pocket. So I hope this helps you out, gives you some inspiration. Go ahead and check out the flip through of this Back to School Vintage Sewing Pattern Junk Journal. Check out my Etsy shop, favorite my shop, so whenever I upload, post new items in my shop, you will be notified. Follow me over on Instagram at Creative Crafticality because I post daily there the things that I'm working on. And also I post when I have more videos up and tutorials and things. So glad you made it here today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.